Not guard like this. Look at this player's feet. See how his feet aren't level to one another? You're out of position. So now you're going to have can constantly have choppy feet. So Julius Randle's going to be able to blow by you, create space too. If you're doubling the post and you're rotating, this player's feet can't take him inward. Look at this player's feet. See how they're going inward? Now you have no chance of getting back outwards. Now Jalen Brunson's got you out of position and step back three. You are out of position when you are guarding one-on-one -on -one like this. Your feet have to be leveled to each other so you can actually slide. You can't slide with Julius Randle like this. So now he just draws help, and it's an easy Mitchell Robinson too. We're trying to get over the top of this screen right here. you got to stay up on this Knicks player. You can't go backwards. Look at this Cavs player's feet. See how they're going backwards? Now you're not going to get over the top of this screen, and now this Knicks player is going to get right in the lane for two. Got to show your hands when you're guarding Julius Randle. When you have your hands on Julius Randle like this Cavs player does, that allows Julius Randle to create space. See that space he just created? Now he's in the lane and it's an and one. You cannot fall asleep on your man. Watch this Cavs player. He is staring at the ball. So now you lose sight of your man who's now going to get it. You're out of position. Now he's right in the lane, draws help, easy Knicks too. Can't give up two-on-ones like this. Get this ball handler out of the lane and hedge. Backside help right here for this player's role. This Cavs player occupies these Knicks players two passes away. You give up a two-on-one. What do you think's going to happen? What is Darius Garland doing here? Why are you feeling out a screen? You can easily... There isn't even a screen being set. Look at how easy it is for you to get over. But you feel out a screen, so now this player's ahead of you, uh, right to the rim for two have to communicate and transition. This player's got to say, I've got ball. This player's got to come over here to bump this player over here, and this all needs to be communicated. When you don't communicate, you have two people guarding the ball and a Knicks player wide open for an alley-oop. This never works in transition. Knicks have the ball. This Cavs player needs to be sprinting over here to get to a body. Look at this. Lightly jogging, lightly jogging. <laughs> Layup. And you've got to get over the top of this screen. Look at this screen right here. Look at the space. Get over the top, but you're falling backwards, so now you have no chance of getting over the top. Now this Knicks player's in the lane for an easy two. Can't lean towards the screen. Watch this Cavs player here. Look at him leaning towards the screen. So now R.J. Barrett's going to blow by him the other way. And you are leaning towards a screen that never gets set. Look at Donovan Mitchell here. Look at him lean towards the screen. So now this screen never gets set, yet you're stuck out of position. Look at your feet moving all over the place. So now Jalen Brunson blows by you for an and one. Why are you biting on this fake dribble handoff? All you do if this is a handoff is take a step back. You're still guarding Jalen Brunson and let this player through. But it looks like you're trying to switch for no reason. It's an abomination. It's an easy two. Can't give up two-on-ones. Look at this right here. Hedge. Where's Mitchell Robinson going? This backside defender can slide in very easily. You give up a two-on-one, and it's like, well, I mean, what do you think is going to happen? You're going under a screen, then you got to back off this ball handler right here. See, you're, you have to go wait. Look how far under you have to go when you're pressed up like this. It's just not going to happen. So now this player's on the other side ahead of you, and it's a step back three. Cavs are doubling for no reason. Donovan Mitchell's guarding Jalen Brunson just fine. Why is Evan Mobley doubling here? So now two people go out to Julius Randle. No one takes R.J. Barrett. Okay, you cannot have two people guarding the ball in transition. This player's got to say, I've got ball. So this player knows to get out to Julius Randle. Two people are guarding the ball. So now this player's not ready to guard Julius Randle. He's out of position, crossover, layup. Not get handsy guarding R.J. Barrett. Look at how you get handsy with Barrett. Look at him create space off of that. See that space he just created? Now you're out of position guarding this dribble handoff, and Barrett's going to blow right past you for two. Seti Oseman is going to make about the most pathetic attempt at a gamble you're going to see. Look at this gamble right there. Look at that. So now you're not in position to guard. Now Jalen Brunson can blow by you. That draws a double team, leads to an open three. Cannot defend one-on-one -on -one like this. Look at this Cavs player's feet. You have to get your feet level to each other. You are out of position guarding like that. So now Julius Randle can just cross you over and get right to the lane for two. Okay, you have to have backside help if you're running drop coverage on a pick and pop. This player's got to rotate here. Okay, then this player rotates up. This player goes here, and this player goes to the corner. You run pick and pop without any backside help. You're giving up practice threes. What is this Cavs player doing? Your sole responsibility is to keep this Knicks player in front of you. 
Why are you going backwards with him? Because look, now you get beat, and now you run into Julius Randle. Now somehow the Knicks have numbers, and it's a two at the end of the quarter. Get your back to the baseline. When you guard with your back to the sideline, you are asking for this, which is getting beat back door. This is a special form of Donovan Mitchell falling asleep on his man. You've got to be seeing the ball and your man at all times. How on earth this player beats Donovan Mitchell backdoor is insane. Show your hands when you're guarding Jalen Brunson. Look at this right here, how you're not showing your hands. So now you're not able to slide with Jalen Brunson and you're giving him this angle. So now he gets way too low on the floor, on the block, and it's an easy two. Why is Donovan Mitchell feeling out a screen that hasn't been set yet? He is feeling out a screen that's all the way over here. So now you have no chance of getting over the top of that screen. That means two people have to go to the ball, and there's a wide-open layup.